the privilege of speaking with Gordana from Lamico Metals. How are you today? Great. Thank you for having me. And of course, Lamico. Uh, we used to all know who Lamico was, but we don't really know where Lamico is today. You put out a significant drilling announcement in late May. Can you give us an update about this 18,000 meter drilling program? So La Luther project is our flagship project. It's located in uh, Quebec, about 180 kilometers northwest from Montreal. So we have uh, done our uh, PA last year. And in order to move to the next steps, which is PFS for us, of course, we had to infill the pit, both pits uh, for that matter. And that's why we decided to move with this uh, significant drill program starting in uh, mid-May this year. And we think we might be done by mid-October or we may even continue a little bit later in the fall and winter. And of course, it says here that you're doing 120 holes. I personally like the name of the zones. You've got the electric vehicle or EV and the battery zones. Uh, tell us a little bit more about this. Uh, your, by the way, your news release actually shows a figure where these zones are actually uh, and the drilling is actually taking place. You want to comment a little further about that, please? Yeah, so, so basically the, the names of the zones are aspiration of where we want to be. We want to be a supplier of the critical minerals, especially the graphite for these uh, new and emerging uh, technologies for the batteries, uh, of course, for electric vehicles. So we have done some uh, work, initial work with uh, Metpro and uh, Corem from Quebec to labs on initial testing. So the purification results are really excellent, over 99.9% .9 purity and low contaminant levels. Also some of the physical and chemical characteristics of the graphite are excellent, like better than we actually expected for this first pass. And of course, Gordana, maybe some people out there may not fully appreciate what the purity actually means. And also if you can add a couple of comments about the importance of graphite in these EV batteries, because uh, isn't it like you require five times the amount of graphite for lithium, give us a little bit more of a of, of an overview, please. Yes, you're correct. So basically, anode is 95% graphite, and there is no other material that can uh, replace graphite in the near future. So classic Tesla could have any anywhere between 100 to 125 kgs of the graphite. So the need for the graphite, of course, uh, in North America, Canada, and U.S. is huge, uh, as uh, both um, you know both countries announced very lucrative goals in getting into 50% uh, EV adoption by 2030, 2035. So that would uh, mean for us, for graphite uh, producers and developers, uh, a huge market, market that never existed before. And, you know, something that I think is lovely about Lamico is if you read Lamico's about or mission statement, it always says mission has uh, Lamico Metals has a new vision and a new strategy in new energy represents a company with purpose, a per people first company where we can manifest a world of abundant renewable energy with Canadian and Quebec critical minerals for a solution in North America. Now you might say, hey, well, Tracy, that explains everything, but if you could fill that out a little bit for us, I think there's been quite an investment in people that has transpired over the last year. Uh, and I'm not certain that those familiar with Lamico from the past appreciate how this company is evolving um, into quite the ESG directed company. Yes, for sure. We all come, uh, myself, Belinda, our CEO, and Vince, our CFO, we all come from the operating businesses. And the only way to, you know, go forward is by adopting all these ESG principles. And we are spearheading that, you know. Uh, reality is, in order to decarbonize our future, we have to decarbonize the, uh, the transport. And we, as the team, are you know putting our best foot forward with some other groups from Quebec and America and providing all these critical minerals. So critical minerals, the name says, are critical for our future. All of them have to be mined, and the mining is really the answer for decarbonization. That, that's our, our goal.
that's our mission to get all these minerals for solution here in Canada and North America. So this aggressive drilling program that you have, this is quite an aggressive drilling program. Uh, the results we should anticipate in October, is that correct? Or am I putting words in your mouth? Yes, uh, unfortunately, the, the wait times, the lead times at the labs are long. We have sent uh, about the 600 samples so far. So we expect first results somewhere in late July, early August. And by the time we actually assemble that, we would be ready to put some news to the uh, you know, to our shareholders and to the markets, the public somewhere in early September. Uh, I noticed in the last news release, you, you made a reference to the, uh, how you obtained a UL Ecologo certification for mineral exploration. Uh, what does that mean? For some of us, we don't all understand that. So e Ecologo is a certification for exploration companies run by uh, Quebec Exploration Association. And so far, there is only about 17 companies uh, registered in Quebec. And of course, there are other provinces that are interested in expanding this uh, registration. It means, uh, it, and it really fits in our own mission and vision about uh, adopting ESG principles uh, you know, just saying that we are indeed respecting these principles and through these certifications saying that, yes, we really care about the environment and we're doing all these things just because we believe in it. That's the way to do it. I really enjoyed reading this news release a couple of times because every time I read it, I noticed something different that I attribute to a Lamico advantage. And one thing is your relationship with the First Nations. Would you like to comment further on that for us, Gordana? Yeah, as we, we mentioned just before about our mission and People First Company, we believe that we have to involve all our stakeholders and shareholders into developing these uh, projects. So we have a Lady Lee Arden Lewis, who is on our board, who's a Mohawk, and who's helping us out, of course, give that different perspective to our board and the management. And also we have uh, Ms. Anne Chabot, who is actually from Kitigan Zibi Anishinaabe community. That's the community that is, um, you know, um, covering our lands for La Luther project. Well, I'll tell you, Gordana, I am so impressed and thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you will do more regular interviews and I'm gonna to talk to Jack Lipton about putting you on the critical materials and ESG panel. Thank you. You're really welcome. Uh, I was very happy to be here today and be able to you know, provide the update on the Lomiku's activities.